Hey guys, my name is Nicole, licensed clinician, and we're here talking about everyday things that impact our mental health and fitness. And I'm putting a pin right now in the discussion of alpha male and female and high value man, high value woman to kind of talk about the holiday season that's coming. I know for some, this can be really, really stressful time. Um, I feel like for a lot of us who have lost loved ones or, you know, just in the progression of aging, you know, people move away or the the big family gatherings that maybe we remember from our childhood are no longer those big family gatherings anymore for one reason or another. And it just doesn't feel like Christmas or it just doesn't feel like Hanukkah or whatever holiday you celebrate. And kind of taking that thought into our approach to family time together or whatever time that you get um, to celebrate however you celebrate. And just maybe thinking, having a little bit of a perspective shift in that like, yeah, like there's grief there, right? Like it's, it's a legitimate thing to grieve that the loud, packed house of our childhoods for some of us um, is no longer a thing. And it may never be again. But at the same time, you can also create, if you have children, you can also create wonderful memories for them because they have no other frame of reference. They don't know what it's like to have 20 people pack into a house for a holiday. They know what it's like to have whatever, five, let's say, um, and the, the closeness and the intimacy that comes of that rather than like the general like anonymity of having 20 people pack into a house. Um, it can be a lot more like one-on-one -on -one attention and things like that. So, you know, taking that into consideration that it's, it's almost like it's like it's their turn now. And our parents probably, you know, lamented some of their childhood memories of holidays just going by the wayside. And at the same time, they still made holidays magical for us. And so kind of being able to pass down that magic and digging deep to find holiday spirit when sometimes it's really difficult depending on you know whatever the the way the wind is blowing economic situation the um you know financial aspect the the weather honestly the, the weather has a big impact also like on our mental health and things like that um but kind of finding ways to still make it magical even if it's not what we would prefer or what we remember, because th these are gonna be the memories that they fall back on. And if you don't have children and you're lamenting this, um, you know, maybe kind of finding other ways to connect with other people. It doesn't have to be a big group, but it can be something as simple as like, hey, potluck Christmas for, you know, whoever's single or, not able to travel home wherever home is you know for the for the holidays or whatever um you know maybe that can be a new tradition that that you come up with that you create um having people maybe coming over and like hey like yeah like you can bring the main dish or your main dishes side dishes and things like that and like we can all bake cookies together or, or whatever it may be be creative that's my take home for this is when you're sitting there lamenting the traditions and how traditions morph through generations and the loss of some of those really joyful times that make our memories of the holiday season more precious um, even if that's only one or two memories it doesn't have to be a whole lot it doesn't have to be every year um, for sure some of us don't have a whole lot of good memories to hold on to um, but if you do have those good memories cherish them for what they are, and then also contemplate and think about how you can make new good memories, either for yourself moving forward or for your children moving forward. And I think that you'll find that in doing that, in that spirit of giving, um, you'll kind of find the spirit of Christmas again, or Hanukkah, or whatever holiday you celebrate.